minimum stay restrictions are used to control how long a booking should be, on certain dates, like any other customizations on Price Labs, the minimum stay restrictions can be applied to the listing, group, or account level. Here's how to set up minimum stay restrictions for a listing. Click Edit under Customizations. Under Stay Restrictions tab, toggle on Minimum Stay Settings. If you've previously created minimum stay profiles, you can select it from this drop-down to apply it. Otherwise, select Custom, and you'll be able to define your own minimum stay rules as you prefer, using the settings below. The first one is default minimum stay rule. This is the default minimum stay settings that will be applied to any dates that do not have one of the special rules. Click on this drop-down to choose from these three options. Fixed, Booking Value, and None. By selecting Fixed, you will be able to set a default minimum stay rules for weekday and weekend. These two boxes should not be left blank, and you'll need to enter values greater than zero. In this example, since there aren't any special rules set up yet, Two-night minimum will be applied to both weekdays and weekends across the entire calendar. The next option in the drop-down is booking value. By selecting this, we will calculate a minimum stay rule for each date according to the price you have set. In this example, with the booking value of 400, we will calculate a minimum stay for the check-in date such that a booking value less than 400 is not possible. The last option is none. This simply means we will not apply a minimum stay for your listing. Also by selecting this, you will not be able to use any of the special rules below. The next one is minimum stay settings for orphan gaps. Orphan gaps are available dates in between two existing reservations. This setting is used to specify a different minimum stay rule for the gaps on your calendar. This is commonly used to ensure that small gaps on your calendar remain bookable, and can be filled in. The first two drop-down boxes let you specify the minimum night rule that will be applied for orphan weekdays and weekends. By selecting length of gap, the minimum night rule is going to be equal to the length of the gap itself. So let's say a two-night gap is created on your calendar, two-night minimum stay will apply. The next two boxes allows you to enter the range of days which you want our system to consider as orphan gaps. By entering one and two, our system will only look for one or two nights gaps, to which this rule will be applied. If a three-night gap is created, this rule will not take effect, but instead, your default minimum stay rule will apply. So in this example, if a gap of one or two nights is created on your calendar, the minimum stay setting that will be applied is equal to the length of the gaps itself. The next one is minimum stay settings for last minute bookings. This can be used to greatly increase your chances of getting last minute bookings which tend to be shorter in length. The first two boxes lets you specify your minimum stay settings for last minute weekday and weekend. And the third box lets you enter within how many nights this rule will be active. So in this example, from today until the next 14 days, a minimum of two nights will be required. Finally, minimum stay for far out bookings lets you specify the minimum stay settings for dates beyond the defined number of days. This is useful if you are trying to fill up your far out dates with longer bookings. The first two boxes lets you enter the required minimum stay for far out weekends and weekdays. And the third box lets you specify, beyond how many nights this rule will be active. So in this example, dates beyond 90 nights from today will have a minimum stay of 5 nights. Once everything is set up, don't forget to hit save changes.